My name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Homegrounds, a place where you go to learn more about brewing and enjoying better quality coffee right at home. And today we are talking about this grinder, the Turin DF64. Now this is the newest version of the DF64, it's the V4 I believe. And I want to point out right in the beginning that this grinder has been around for a number of years. And the first few iterations of it people were finding a lot of small little quirks and issues about it and those have been presented in other videos and I am not going to be talking about any of those. This is actually my first DF64 I've ever owned so this is coming from a perspective of someone that is going right towards the brand new model. It has a lot of updated features and things that were fixed from the first few iterations so take note of that. I didn't use any of those old models so this is a fresh perspective on this grinder. Another thing I want to be transparent about from the beginning is that this grinder was sent to me from Joe Kolb at Espresso Outlet. I reached out and he's actually a friend. He's in Michigan here, so I already knew him a little bit and he sent me this grinder to review. I wanted to get one anyways, but he was generous enough to send me one for free. So big thanks to Joe and Espresso Outlet. I'll have a link in the description down below if you want to check out that website. So let's hop right into all these specs that make this grinder something that I think makes it one of the best home grinders for anyone out there. Now one of the biggest draws to this grinder is that it has a pair of 64 millimeter flat burrs in here. And if you don't care about burrs, if you're never going to experiment with them, then that's okay. The burrs that come with this grinder are very good, so you should just know that. But if you are someone who likes to experiment and maybe you think you'd want to change out the burrs in the future, the fact that this grinder has 64 millimeter burrs is really great because there have been grinders around for a while. I think one of the first ones was the Mazer Super Jolly and that had 64 millimeter flat burrs. And so there have been a lot of manufacturers that have made compatible burrs already for this grinder that you can go out right away and start comparing different ones. If you are someone who say wants to try out a set of SSP burrs that are high uniformity and going to give you a little bit more clarity in the cup, that is something very easy to do. And Joe at Espresso Outlet will do those changes for you. There is a little bit of an extra add-on as far as price goes, but that is an option when you buy this grinder. Another big draw for this grinder is that it is a single dose grinder. You are meant to weigh out the amount of coffee that you are about to brew with, dump it in there, and only grind that much. And then this bellows is to push out with air any grounds that may be left in the burrs or anywhere in these chambers. And so you're getting pretty much zero retention, meaning no grounds left anywhere in there, which is really great. And it does a really good job of getting all the grounds out there. The design of this grinder, the angle at, that it's at, is also benefiting that. They designed that so that it would be near zero retention. Another big thing about this grinder is that it has an infinite stepless adjustment dial. So you can go as fine as you want, all the way to espresso or Turkish coffee, and then as coarse as you would like. And this grinder is capable, as far as the motor goes, in grinding for espresso and drip. Whereas something like the Fellow Ode is not meant to grind for espresso, even though it's a great home grinder, it can't grind for espresso, this one can do it all. And the stepless adjustment allows you to make those really micro adjustments so that you can get the perfect shot. You don't have any limitations as far as dialing in a grind setting on this grinder. As far as the build quality, it is all metal. It just has a vinyl wrapping, so that's why you're able to get different colors. But it's really heavy duty, solid construction. It has a 250 watt motor in there and it weighs 15 pounds. So for being a grinder this size in your kitchen, it's pretty hefty, which I like. You know that it's going to be standing up with time. This grinder does come with everything you see here. So you get the bellows. You can choose not to use the You can choose to use the bellows or not. You can just put the lid right on there. And we also have a dosing cup and then a little ring that prevents any coffee from spilling out the sides as it's grinding. And we have a plastic dosing cup that it comes with as well. And then all of this is 58 millimeter 
porta filter compatible so you can just set this right on your espresso basket and flip it around you can also dose right into the porta filter so you can just insert it into those rings there and you can grind right into your espresso basket although it can get a little messy and i like the workflow of just grinding into here and flipping it into my espresso basket but that is up to you as far as noise goes with this grinder i will get out a decibel reader here and we'll see so without any coffee it peaks around 73 74 decibels and a lot of that is because of this metal cup so i wonder if i even remove that yep so right around 71 72 decibels without coffee let me throw some coffee through there and we will see So I think I saw it peak out at around 92 decibels. It is not the quietest grinder that I've used, but I wouldn't say that it is excessively loud and the noise that it makes is not extremely high pitched and annoying, like something like the Barazza Sete. It is not like that. I would say that it's pretty good as far as home use. You're probably not gonna wake up anyone in the household. Last thing I'll mention is that this grinder does cost 400 US dollars directly from Espresso Outlet. You can opt to upgrade the burrs directly from them and they will install them and then ship it out to you. But yeah, $400 for this grinder, I would say that is a pretty good deal. Now, one thing that I do want to mention before I hop into what we love about this grinder is that although it does do a great job with zero retention, there are some things that you can do to kind of help that out a little bit. And the biggest one I would say is doing RDT. If you're not familiar with RDT, I've talked about it in other videos, but essentially it is just using a little squirt of water onto the beans before you dump them in the grinder. And that water is going to help prevent static. And so you're not going to get coffee grounds sticking all over on the outside of the grinder or all over your counter. It's gonna do a great job at keeping it going directly into your dosing cup. I'll throw some clips up here just showing you without the RDT and then with it and then also showing you how much extra coffee you get out by using the bellows. I wouldn't say it's that necessary to use the bellows every time, but it does help get a little bit of the coffee grounds out from inside the grinder. So what are some things that we really love about the Turin DF64? The first thing that I noticed right away is that this grinder produces a really good quality grind. I did some testing on it to test the grind distribution at different grind settings and all across the board it was doing pretty well. Obviously with a grinder as you go coarser it gets a little less consistent but as you got in the finer range it was really really nice even graph meaning you didn't have a lot of boulders or a lot of fines and it produces a really great cup of coffee. Now I am using SSP cast burrs in this grinder but with the standard burrs as well it does a great job and produces a great cup of coffee another thing i really like is the workflow with a grinder like this i don't really like especially for home use using something with a hopper so i think any grinder that already is using single dosing is a big plus for me i like the workflow of weighing out my set amount of coffee that i'm going to be using throwing on a quick spray of water in there and dumping it through the grinder and then you only get as much coffee out as you're going to be using right away so it's pretty much zero waste as far as a grinder goes and that's a really great plus another thing i really love is just the overall build quality of this grinder it feels really hefty it's nice and heavy it's not going to be moving around on your counter whenever you want to grind coffee and it just feels like it will last a long time as long as i treat it well it's a grinder that, although for some people, spending $400 on a coffee grinder for your home could be a lot, this will last a lot longer than any of those cheap grinders that you can just find anywhere else. And then going from there, even though I just said that $400 could be a lot, for what you're getting with this grinder, I think that $400 is a pretty good price. For anything else that can do espresso all the way to cold brew with 64 millimeter flat burrs, you're not gonna get much better than $400. And you also have the ability to upgrade those burrs in the future. And so the price for this grinder is really going to pay for itself in the long run. As far as things that we would change about this grinder, I mean, no grinder is perfect. There is a little bit of static, especially if you don't use RDT. And some people may not love the workflow of a grinder like this. They may want 
a hopper that you don't have to worry about grinding out your dose every time before you want to grind. But I think that if you're someone that is looking for a single dosing grinder that can do all the way from espresso to cold brew and does everything really well, then you're not going to get much better than this Turin DF64. So like I said earlier, there will be a link in the description down below if you want to check this grinder out for yourself. Joe is a pleasure to work with at Espresso Outlet. I can't recommend them enough. There's also a couple other models out there that I didn't talk about in this video that are more espresso focused. So there's the DF64P and the E. I'm not talking about those in this video, but those are also great options if you want this type of grinder only for espresso. And there is also now the big brother, the DF83, which I happen to have back there. We'll do a whole separate video on that later. So yeah, that is the Turin DF64. If you have any additional questions or comments about this grinder or my use after a few more months of it, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy brewing.